right, moving right along. Number four, write a SQL statement that will show all employees hired after this date, order by hire date in ascending order. Let's display last name and hire date, no problem. Sounds good. All right, access, create, query design, close it out, go to SQL view, let's paste our question. All right, what are we gonna select which fields? We want last name and hire date, so separate them by a comma. Let's double check our spellings, last name, no spaces, hire date, no spaces, perfect. From where those both come from, they come from the table employee. Okay, now let's take a look at criteria. Uh, we only want employees hired after this date. So when working with dates, I told you that with text, you need double quotes around the text, and with numbers, you need nothing around the numbers. Dates, you do need something because they're a very specific type of number that isn't uh, like everything else. What we want here is where hire date is, okay, it's supposed to be after that date. It doesn't say including, so I'm going to say greater than. I can use uh, these operators, greater than, less than, equal to with dates. However, I just have to make sure that I use pound signs, hashtags, whatever you want to call them, um, for actual dates, 31. 1995. So, where hire date is greater than this, which means it's going to be anyone hired in 1996 and later. Okay, does it say anything about ordering? Yes, it does. Order by hire date in ascending order. So, order by hire date. And remember, by default, it's ascending. So, it doesn't really matter if we leave it like this or if we put in the keyword ascending. Either way is fine. All right, let's try it out. Run. There we go. And as verification, we can see everybody includes a date in 1996 or later. Perfect.